hello everyone and welcome back to my channel um today well right now i'm going to be doing a makeup video so this is my second time doing this uh tell me if you like it and let's go remember to subscribe and to comment below remember to like and share these videos so before i get started we ignore the mess right here again just moving in really haven't got, had a chance to really put the house together fully yet because i have been working and just life but it will be done soon trust me but i did want to continue to post videos and really put hard work and dedication into my channel so yes so let's get started and all right so today is my brother's graduation party um he graduated about three weeks ago almost a month ago and we moved we had a funeral we had a lot of stuff going on um within these last three weeks so we did not get a chance to celebrate his graduation but i feel like everyone de deserves to be shown you know that you did it good job you know to get them ready for the next phase of their life and he wants to go into the service um he's trying to go in as a marine so yeah we are i really want to show him that i'm proud of him so today i'm going to do him a crab boil and i will be doing a mukbang for that crab boil so now i'm just kind of getting ready i got my little tank top yeah i don't don't worry about my nails i gotta get them done too but i have on a little not a tank top but a little jacket on just you know to carry me on as i get ready to put on my clothes so i think today i'm going to wear a like a pinkish pink shirt with gold in it so i'm going to do a kind of goldish eyeshadow i wanted to test out some of the stuff that i had got from ipsy and this was something that came in my ipsy bag and i'm going to use this eyeshadow i don't know if you can really see it because of the lighting behind me this eyeshadow i'm going to use today from ipsy and i'm going to use this liner that i got in my ipsy bag as well as I'm thinking about using one or two of these that I got out of my Ipsy bag, another uh, bag that I had received. I want to use some of those. Sorry about that. I had to go and do something really quick, but I am back. So first, we're going to start off with eyebrows. I already cleaned my face and prepped it and everything. I already got gloss and everything on my lips to kind of get that ready for my... Um, what is that called my lip color now my eyebrows as you can see they are a little hairy and neat doing but I am trying to wait to get them arched just because I don't want them too thin because I had had got them too thin at one point and as you can see it's like a little gap right there and a little gap right there so we trying to let them fully grow in before I go get them fixed up but yeah so now I'm just going to take this pencil, um, just a little cheap dollar pencil by Color Mates in the color black brown. It's the eyeliner, but I use it as a eyebrow pencil. So here we go. And if you see me look over this way, it's because my camera is right there. I'm not my camera, my mirror. So I'm just going to outline my eyebrows. These eyebrows are serious. I'm going to have to look in the mirror. And I just use a pencil and color in. I don't really do all that fancy stuff. Because my brows are actually pretty thick as is. So really all I do is go in and just fill my brows in with this pencil. There we go. So see that is one brow right here. And of course I'm going to take my um, spoolie and clean it up let me sharpen this pencil again because it got a little flex okay here we go i 
tried to create more of a little arch though. But other than that, I'm just filling it in. And I do have wild eyebrows at times, so I am going to go and probably put a little gel on it. There we go. Now they look a little crazy right now. Yes, they do. I'm sorry, y'all. I have my window open. I'm just going to use my spoolie and really just brush my hair and brush this color in. So, next I'm going to go in with concealer to clean them up. Everyone knows this. Everybody uses this. Whether you're on YouTube or not, you use this. It's just a cheap concealer that works really, really good. So, this is the Pro Concealer by LA Girl. I use the color, I don't know if you can see it. On. and I'm going to just put a little up under each brow there we go. and I'm going to clean them up and the excess I will drag now So how has y'all day been going? Everyone's having a good weekend so far? Hopefully so. What all do you have planned for today? Any cookouts? Any lunches or brunches? Pool parties? All of that kind of good jazz that happens during this time of the year. Hold on. Yes, so let me know in the comments what you got planned for the weekend. Uh-oh, drop my slipper. Okay. And excuse my bed, I'm washing the clothes and linen. So I have clothes on my bed, but my sheets and everything is in the washer in case you just seen that back there. My room looks super empty on this camera. I really have to get some stuff. In our other house that we lived in, the room was smaller, so with our bed, because we have a king-size bed with our bed, and we had a dresser and our TV stand that is over pushed back in this corner that you can't really see, our room looked super full, you know? And moving from that space into this space, now it just looks so empty. I really have to get some stuff, and I'm trying to find some stuff to put over here in this little nook area that I made into my little beauty spot as well I'm trying to get some stuff for my husband trying, I need to get pillows and stuff for in front of the fireplace in our room because it just looks so bare and empty over there I don't like it so yeah okay so as you see I'm pretty much almost uh oh I went up too far with that one. I'm just gonna fix that by shading that back in because we don't need that. Okay. Put a little more concealer right there now. And you know what I don't like is that this camera doesn't really give you the true color. so wild today I'm definitely gonna have to tame them today I think I'm just gonna have to break down and go on and get these things arched okay so now that I have done the bottom I'm 
going to go over the top and with the top of my brows I like to use a color that's closest to my skin again I'm going in with an LA color pro concealer but I'm going to use beautiful bronze for the top of my brows like we did in the beginning I'm going to just take the little thing and brush it over it and then that's how I will start to clean them up don't judge the way I do this you know I'm not a professional I just do what works for me and I think my brows and everything come out quite nice. I get compliments on them. I just don't know why. <sighs> Some days my brows act right there like they love me. And other days it act like, you know, I don't know. Like it's beef, like we got pressure. And today is one of the days these brows are not acting right, but I'm not finna spend too much time on them because we have a whole video to do and I'm already at 12 minutes so yeah it's like this bra looks nice but this one let me see fix this middle part up these brows look no it's from what my children are doing I have two little boys and they fight all the time okay just for the sake of saving these brows because I know that these act crazy. I'm going to just go in here and set my brows. This is by e.l.f. And one side is for eyebrows, one side is for lashes. It's not really supposed to seal it. It's more to just give it shine and keep it in place. But I use it with my pencil just to hold them so they don't, you know, go everywhere. Because, you know, that's not cute. So, boom. These are my brows. Let's see the camera is positioned. Okay. So next, I'm going to start on my uh, eyeshadow. I'm going to go in. This is an oldie but goodie for me. I know people don't really use this anymore, but I started using this when I first started doing makeup. And this jar has helped me. And look where I'm at. I got this jar in like. I don't even know, years ago. A good five years ago. But, um, or probably longer. I think it was longer than five years ago. I don't know. But anyway, it's by NYX or NYX, whichever one you want to call it. And it is a eyeshadow base. I don't really prime my lid. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Today I'm not. I'm going to just go in with this base. Um, and I'm just going to take my concealer brush that I use. I'm just going to put this on my eyelids just to let my color, my eyeshadow pop because today I want to do that goldish color that I showed you that I got in my bag from Ipsy. So, yeah. Let me hurry up. Let me hurry up.
smooth out my little edges right there. All right. So now that my lids are based all up, now that my lids are based up, I'm going to go in with this color. It's called Shimmer Shadows by City Color Cosmetics and the color Cheers to Life. I like that name. This came in my Ipsy bag. It was actually really, really big. And you see that? And you see that color? Look at this. That eyeshadow is super cute and it's big. I do want when this goes out, I'm going to get another one. So for that, I'm just going to take a little eyeshadow brush that I got and I'm just going to take some of that on there. Do you see that? Yep. Color is so super duper duper cute. I love it. Yep. I do. I love this color. I'm just going to put this on my lids. My look today is just going to be simple glam. Yes, my eye probably going to have this gold on it, but it's nothing that's too... I hate you can't really get the full color. Because it's coming up darker in person, but it's lighter on this camera. And I don't know what we can do about that. I'm just gonna have to invest in me a good camera. That's what it is. But I want to take my time and let my page build before I go and get a camera. And you know, I just want to make sure that you know people are really watching my videos and they are liking what I put out before I actually go and invest in. This eye look so serious so far. Okay. I'm trying to think, should I smoke it out close to the um and yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to smoke it out a little bit. Because if not, it's gonna look too serious. So uh let me see, I'm missing a color. Okay, nope, here we go. Oh, if I'm missing one. To smoke out my brows, I'm going to go in, I mean not brows, but the side of my eye. I'm going to go in with this color called Brush, it's by Brush, Brush on Brow, brow. I don't know who it's by, um, but I'm going to use this by, for, I'm not by, I'm going to use this for the size of my eye. So I'm just going to go in here with this. Just so it doesn't look too clownish. You know, gonna darken it up a little. Now I'm gonna blend this out, y'all. Now the blending process is gonna take a little time, so I'm gonna actually pause on um, pause this and I will come back once I have blended this out before I go on to the next color. Okay. I'm back. Okay, so I have already blended the sides of my eyes right here. Now I'm going to add my transition color to help bring that together. And with my transition color, as I showed before, I use this um, Black Radiance Contour Palette in the color medium to dark. And I use the contour one for my transition. So here we go. With just a little brush I have.
cross my eyes, this will take the longest. Once I get my eyes done, I'm good to go. Okay, so I got that blended in. Now I do want to add a little more this, and I do like when I have this. Um, I'm gonna go back in with a little more of this. Cheers to life. I love that name. I'm just gonna pat a little more on there, and I am going to kind of put it a little bit into my um transition color only because I like that little glitter effect it gives me but then just push it up a little bit okay So next I'm going to go in with the Sculpt, the lighter color that's in that palette, um, the contour palette, and I'm going to put that up under my brows. Okay. Next I'm going to go in with this pencil that I got in my um, Ipsy bag called Tattooed. And it's a waterproof eyeliner in the color Jet Black. And it takes me a little minute to line my, brow, my uh, eyelids, so I will be back. Alright, y'all, I'm back. You know, it took me a little minute to get these uh, lines right on my eyes. I'm new at doing wing liners, so, yeah. I apply my lashes at the very end of my makeup. So now that I have all of that done, now I'm going to go in with my Pro Conceal, uh, not Pro Conceal, well it is called Concealer, but it's my corrector, okay? I'm going to go with this orange corrector and I'm going to put it on my little problem areas, which would be this spot here on my forehead. A little bit of under my eyes and this right here in the corner of my lips all right and then those on the side I'm going to go in with this little cheap foundation brush that was by elf I use it as a little I use it for this so just blend this in sometimes I use a sponge sometimes I use this I had a purple one, and I think um, my sister took it. That's my piercing here, my tooth. To tell you to tell you the truth eyebrows and shadow will make a look once you put on lashes I mean if you decide to do anything else that's on you but I think that they really just helps you out so much okay so as I said before I mix for my foundation I mix my Revlon with this black opal now all the reason I'm mixing the two is because this is for normal normal to dry skin. The one that is for combination oily skin does really good coverage and it's my color. But for some reason, even though it's cappuccino like the um, other one, it comes out differently and it's watery and it does not give good coverage like combination oily. So I have to use this to make it work. So I'm going to put this on this little thing I have over here. Eyeshadow on that. Yeah, don't need you to blame me on my face. Okay. So 
I'm going to put a couple of squeezes of this black opal actually today when I go to the store I'm going to actually see if I can find some more black opal as well as some more foundation I'm going to take my, my foundation brush and I'm going to mix it all together and apply it to my face Uh, I hope my brother enjoys his um his graduation today. I mean, not his graduation, but his dinner. You know, I asked him what he wanted. He said crab legs. I said cool. But he also said he wanted a steak with it too. And I was like, yeah, you doing too much. I don't know. I'm saying he didn't graduate from college, you know. Uh -uh. Oh, I just put. I just didn't really have it to be doing everyone a steak and crab legs. Everyone crab legs on its own is expensive, but this was in the works for a while, so you know I have that, but I can't do steaks and a crab oil. And I did decorations like, oof. I need some help. I don't know if y'all neighborhood is just like this, but, um, and I live in a good neighborhood, don't get me wrong. But some people over here are just hilarious to me. I'm sitting in front of my makeup, in my makeup desk, which is in front of my mirror. Not my mirror, but my um window. And I have my window open to help some sunlight come in so I can do my makeup, whatever. So, of course, I can see what's going on outside. I'm just sitting here doing makeup, and that's why I look like that, because I just see somebody riding a bike the bike that's for like two people and he's just riding it with an umbrella hat on colorful umbrella hat and a selfie stick i was just trying to figure out what was going on this early in the morning because it is well it's not that early it's probably like 10 something and i know it takes me forever to put my foundation on but i like for my foundation to be laid and I'm pushing my hair, even though it's on the mess up, because I still have to do my hair today. I still want to have a ponytail, but I have to gel it, and I have to just redo my whole ponytail, because this ponytail was from yesterday. So I don't judge it. It is so hard trying to record um, when you got kids in the house they keep on wanting me to do something or keep asking me stuff which is why this video is probably going to be really blotchy like I'm just coming back in different spots because I keep having to pause the camera and go do stuff. Okay. I look a little oily, although it is on the dry in a minute. The world. Okay. Now, once I get dressed, sorry, took my bath this morning, thing, but once I get dressed, then I will um, bring my foundation onto my neck. But that is going to come after I put on my clothes because I don't want to mess up anything. Alright, so now that my foundation is covered on my face, I'm now going to go back in with my concealer in the color Fun, and I'm going to put these all up under my eyes, my nose, my lips, you know how they do. I remember when I first started watching YouTube videos, and I used to see the girls do this, I was like, yeah, that's just too much, but once I tried it, I can't go back to just foundation and blush. I mean, like, if I'm just, like, 
know. Sometimes I can, depending on what I'm doing, but for the most part, no. Now, I bring mine right here simply because I don't like that look of super light in it right here. It's dark and it looks like a mustache and I'm not here for it, so that's why I do that. I put a little on my nose. I don't really like to put too much on my nose just because I ain't trying to make myself completely over. Like, you're not doing that. It's giving it a look like me when I get done. So, I'm going to go in with a damp beauty blender. Now, yes, my beauty blender is dirty because um, I used it yesterday and I did not wash it. But I'm going to wash it today. I try to use it at least two, three times before I wash it just because I don't like tearing them up like that and having to keep replacing them that often. So, yeah. It's okay though. It's only me who's using them. And I will go and wash it today. Because if not, then my makeup will look so dark and everything later. And I just, I don't like that. So, definitely have to keep cleaning. Mm -hmm. So, blend, 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 blend. blended okay so now i'm back um i just blended all of my concealer in i'm not going to put any on my forehead and everything today i'm not going to do all that today i just don't feel like it um next i'm going to go in with topaz and i'm going to just put just a little bit of under my eyes just to set a little bit of it now, I do not do this every day. And I'm not going to let it bake. I'm just setting it so it doesn't crease right there. Now, I'm going to dust that off because, like I said, I don't want it to bake. And I don't like how highlighted it looks sometimes. This is really, to me, when you bake, that's for a nighttime look. That's just not for daytime. In my opinion, you know, I'm not a professional. I put a little bit on my nose. I'm not a professional, but yeah, I don't like to bake unless it's nighttime. And I want my makeup to look like super cute and everything at night. Okay, so next I'm going to go back in with my um, contour palette. And I'm going to take this little brush. I really should just use my little this is another little brush i got from ipsy i got this brush from ipsy i got this brush from ipsy and i got this brush from ipsy so yeah ipsy says you some nice little things you should really test it out okay wanna put a little bit over here wing looks so skinny <laughs> I'm going to get better I'm going to get better I promise you that now I'm just going to take this brush I did my eyeshadow with um, that had a little bit of the brown on there had a little bit of color and I'm going to just hit my nose just a little bit just a little bit nothing really fancy nothing really fancy and I'm going to take this brush again and I'm just going to blur that part out because you know and I got time to like a, um who was that who got that little nose is that a raccoon is it I don't know I don't know I'll look it up but so now that I'm done with that because I'm not really trying to look too contoured I'm going to go in with my blush I think today I want to try this that I got from Ipsy um it is in I don't even know what color it all says format blush now I got this color it's really really cute I use it as a blush and an eyeshadow because it's so cute let me open it up for you look at that look at this it's a blush 
but it definitely looks like an eyeshadow but it gives a nice natural color on your cheeks but with a glitter and I'm all about shine so I'm going to take this brush I have a lot of these this is my blush brush little fluffiness I use and I'm going to put a little bit of that on there and I'm going to put that on the apples of my little cheek this is gonna be one hell of a long video y'all i apologize i'm gonna get better with my time once i really know how to um i'm a blush whore so excuse me this is too much blush for you but this is such a natural looking color that to me is okay I just like to put it on. I want to just stuck right there. Okay. So now that I have my blush on, I'm going to go in with my highlighters. And I'm going to use this brush. So I know y'all thinking I keep having different, uh, the same one, but I really have different little brushes. This is what I use on my contour when I use it. This is my blush, and this is my highlighter. And I know which one is the switch because my blush has like a pink and gold look to it. My highlighter has gold all in it, as you can kind of see. And my other one is just brown, so that's how I know. Anyway, I'm going to go in with this color. Um, this is a highlighter that I got from the Beauty Supply Store for a dollar. So I'm going to go in with that, as well as I'm going to use this Urban Decay highlighter glow that I got from Ipsy. I'm going to mix them. So first I'm going to put a little bit on my cheeks up here at my cheek bend. Give them a little glow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like to be a little glowish. Put a little bit of extra on my nose. I like that look. Some people don't. I'm gonna see what color lips should I do today. Mm. Mm, I think my shirt is gonna be like a pinkish color. I guess I can do like a neutral lip today. And I put a little on my forehead just because I like to look a little glowy. Just a little glow, just a little. Then I'm gonna go in with this color, like I said, from uh, who was it by? Urban Decay. I'm gonna get this little sample, and I just like to put a little bit of that. Just a little, just a little, just a little swipe. Just to really look like them. Um, I'm here. You see me? You see me? It's just like this girl. Hmm. Then I just take the excess and go like this. Okay. So finally, well not finally, because I still have to put my lashes and everything on. So I'm going to line my under eyes. And put my lashes on and I will be back. Okay, so now I have my eyelashes on. The eyelashes that I use on today is by Kiss. And I want to say it's the um, So Wispy. Now, I use these lashes all the time. Matter of fact, this particular pair that I have on today, I've been wearing these all week. Literally, one well, more. I think I got them on... Oh, past the week, yeah. I got them on... Um, Wednesday and I wore them Thursday last Thursday so from last Thursday to today which is Saturday there's been a, what, a week and two days so yeah they have held up good I take them off every night and reapply them I'm gonna go in with this mascara up on them and hit my under eye uh, lashes my bottom lashes I don't know what I'm saying see I'm 
wait till it's fully dry before I hit the top. Next, I'm going to take me a little brush, a little point, and put some of this eyeshadow that I wore in my tear ducts right here, as well as a little up under my, my eyes. I'm going to go in with my lipstick. As you know, I love ColourPop. That will always be my favorite. So today, I think I'm going to go in with these two by ColourPop. This one is called... Lord, they done came... Oh, my sticker's gone on this one. What is this one called? My sticker's missing on it. It's not Lex, because I have Lex. I think this is Lambo. Yeah, the chocolatey color. I know it's not showing up chocolate on here, but this is Lambo. And this one is almost wiped off. Mm, I don't know. I got the L-U-M left on it. I don't know. The other one. I'm going in by these two colors by ColourPop. As you can tell, these are my favorites because these are the ones, as you can kind of see, the glitter, the writing and stuff has kind of came off of these. Uh, the wear and tear versus some of the ones that I have over here. You can kind of see which ones are my favorite because they're really tore up. Now, these are my two new, two new ones here. These still have the little thing on it, but all the names are off. They rub off so quick, so easy. Anyway, let me go ahead and do my lips. Going in with this chocolate color, even though it's coming off as a lighter color on camera. But it's chocolate in real life. I'll take my pen on my lipstick this serious. Okay. I don't know why it's giving me that color on there. Didn't want to go in with this lighter color. I'm going to set my face. Yep. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. I don't know if I right here. Yeah, no. I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to let that get together. Alright, so this is my finished makeup look. Tell me if you like it. I have to set my face, of course, but with setting spray. Right. 
so tell me if you all like these videos tell me if you want me to do more um tell me what all you would like to see and i will see you later and i will talk to you later in these comments below make sure you like share and subscribe and i will see you a little later on when i do my mukbang and it's gonna be good because i have all the trimmings for it and i'm ready to eat so i'm not gonna eat anything leading up to my lunch so i will see y'all later to loop.